fair to say that a competitive Formula One team couldn't really operate without a strong network of technical partners. There's so many things we do where we don't have the in-house expertise to be able to uh, develop particular solutions where we need to look to our partners to help us out with that and where we hope in return that we can provide an interesting development environment for, for, for their technology so that the, the relationship is genuinely two-way but uh, many many areas where where we couldn't put a competitive car on the grid without their help. 3D Systems are one of the technical partners we've had for many years uh, here at Enstone. Um, they're also one of the most strategic technical partners we have. Um, aero, downforce, uh, optimising the aerodynamic efficiency of the car, everybody knows that's one of the really fundamental things to making a fast car. And for, I would guess, about the last 10, 12 years, um, a key technology in making a productive wind tunnel program is the, uh, the use of rapid prototyping technology, something which 3D Systems is uh, an absolutely unacknowledged uh, expert in the field of. Um, we've had a strong partnership with them for many years where they provide us with uh, cutting edge machines that allow us to produce hundreds of thousands of uh, model parts that we can put in our wind tunnels and then and then test the components uh, for aerodynamic efficiency. Um, we get the benefit of uh, good value um, leading edge technology machines and they get the benefit of us using, using those machines in anger very hard uh, and, and really trying to push their technology uh, to the limits of what it's capable of doing. I'm really excited about our Lopez Renault Formula One partnership because it has been sustainable, it has withstood the test of time, it has been scalable, and together we have transformed the way that Formula One racing is done today and empowered the Lotus Renault team really to be the best that they can be on and off the racetrack. And what that means to us is the pursuit of excellence in technology and in innovation and in all of their design to manufacturing activities. Case in point, recently uh, Lotus Renault Formula One went through a very impressive reinvestment cycle and completely refreshed their fleet of iPro 8000 production printers. Uh, which they're now using in so many activities all the way from design to wind tunnel verification, tooling, fixturing, jigging and all the way uh, into uh, on-track racing car parts and it's exciting for us because they are showing us the way that our technology in production printers, materials and composites is transforming the way that they think, create and manufacture and it shines the spotlight on other future trickle-down manufacturing opportunities that emanate from our technology. It's been an amazing partnership, it's been around now going on a decade and it is validated again and again by our combined innovation and the kind of individual and combined investments that we're putting into this exciting field. And of course, we're rooting for our friends. Without doubt, additive manufacturing technologies such as selective laser sintering and stereolithography will feature heavily in the future of Lotus Renault GP team. Um, the ability to produce parts quickly and accurately um, have already proven themselves to be incredibly valuable assets in uh, the wind tunnel program. Um, and have assisted us in producing numerous parts to assess uh, geometrical iterations. What I find particularly exciting is as we move into the realms of rapid manufacturing and that's producing parts directly for the racing car. So as we continue to develop processes and continue to develop materials to allow this to happen, it, it allows the designers to no longer be constrained in the ways that conventional machining processes may. Um, meaning that parts are no longer designed to be manufacturable because this no longer has to be the same sort of consideration, instead allowing the designer to function on the functionality. Um, now that's, that's of great importance to us because it produces uh, potentially more efficient parts and also enhances the functionality of the part itself. All of that allows our car to remain competitive at the track. 
closely in partnership with 3D Systems, we're looking to push the boundaries of the technology further and further in terms of the processes themselves or the materials that we're developing in order that we can meet the stringent needs of the team in terms of structural performance, geometric accuracy or manufacturing rapidity. And that will all contribute to helping making us even more competitive at the track. The core business of the ADM department at Lotus Renault GP manufactures test components for the wind tunnel model. Over the years, improvements of materials and equipment have expanded this from single prototypes. Initially, we started off with one-off prototypes, um, looking at functional fit, uh, how parts work on the car, and, and general fit and function improvements. But over the years, um, improvements in the materials have allowed us to develop our applications both on and off the car and in the wind tunnel. Um, this has greatly advanced the number of components we require um, and has led us to develop areas that previously we, we couldn't do through conventional manufacturing. Um, digital manufacturing now has allowed us to make components that, that were effectively unmanufacturable in the real world, um, but then leads us to the problem of how we make them for the full-size car. Uh, certain things we can help with there as well. Our relationship with 3D systems has led us to develop certain areas of the car which previously we were unable to hit. Um, certainly the quantities we are able to do now have, have helped us to push boundaries that before were unachievable and uh, every tunnel test helps to improve in production and improve performance of the vehicle. So the more tests we can do per day, then the more improvement we see on the track. Um, our development with the program with 3D systems has been invaluable in this. Uh, we certainly wouldn't be able to manufacture the number of components to the complexity levels that we do using stereotography at this time. The Selective Laser Centering has allowed us to produce test components and on-car vehicle parts for our race car. Um, these are both used for test functions, for function fit and for actual racing. Um, aerodynamic improvements, small vanes, ducting, cooling ducts, uh, scoops and fins are quite common. These allow a, a series of complex shapes to be made very quickly, quite cheaply, considering our small batch size um, with internal details that we wouldn't be able to manufacture in a conventional manner. Certainly not in the lead times we require them. Um, we can turn around parts in two days rather than ten weeks, which is a vast improvement for us. Um, the cost per part being relatively high if you were making a hundred, but if you're only making two or three, the cost per part is very, very good. Um, this enables us to take enhancements to the car and, and bolt them on literally the day before we go racing. We also manufacture some very complex, high detail casting patterns for titanium parts. Um, these allow us a quick turnaround and enable us to change the component very quickly throughout the course of the season. Um, this is invaluable for us over the years, producing small components such as this right up to our gearbox main case uh, with a three-day lead time and pattern time. Um, this again has proved invaluable and we're literally allowed to make a change for the part per race if required.